Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Navball Mastery. My name is Root Negative and let's get cracking. Today we're going to look at two things. We're going to use some of the information that we talked about in the last episode. That is rendezvous and how the yellow markers are our orbits and the, the pink markets are our target. And we're going to apply that to accurate landings and direct descent to rendezvous. So right now, I have Bill. Poor Bill is stuck, kind of stuck. He's, he's stuck. He's stuck on the, the face of Minmus, and I need to go get him. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something very, very similar to what I did last time, and that is I'm going to go and rescue him. Now, I'm going to try and push my retrograde marker down along the horizon because what I want to do is I want to get this retrograde marker over the target marker. If I can do that I'm going to land very very close to where he is. There he is right there. That's actually, what is that? I don't know, it's something. Now notice how my retrograde is now moving across the face of the nav ball. Now this is going to be extremely tricky. Okay, it's going to be extremely tricky because I have very, very low thrust to weight. Now then, I need to, I need to keep pushing this towards that because right now, you can see how I'm changing my orbit. However, we're going to fall a little bit short. So what I need to do is I need to come round to the prograde side. Now remember, retrograde is a pull, pull, prograde is a push. Did I get that backwards? Yep, I got it backwards. Nope, it's definitely a pull. So, <laughs> prograde is a pull, retrograde is a push. And what I'm doing here is I'm dragging this That's not the best way of going. Uh, the best way of going would actually be to be up here somewhere. Okay, because that's going to slow me down, which means that I want to do something like this. There we go. That's most efficient. Now, the reason I'm doing this is so that I can actually get over the target before I then start my landing sequence. Now, I'm using the fact that orange is dirt, blue is sky to know roughly where I need to go. So you can see where the marker sits now. So if I go this way a little bit. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way. There go. So that's a little bit better. All I'm doing is I'm trying, just trying to get that prograde over the retrograde, uh, over the target. You can see we're a little bit out now. But that's okay, because it's all doable. Now obviously I'm doing a lot of monkeying around here, and that's okay. Oh, you see we're much closer now, and I haven't done a single maneuver node. If I had done a maneuver node and done it that way, I could have, you know, potentially uh, had a really, really, really nice encounter. Uh, but I'm talking about nav ball here, and this this is probably a, too far away for me to be attempting this kind of shenanigans. And I am actually going to turn this on. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to decrease my fall rate because I'm falling a little bit fast. Okay, so now I'm pretty much coming straight over the target, give or take a little bit. Now, what I can do is I can use that information that I've spoke about previously just getting this this yellow marker over the pink marker and I'm going to use that to land with now now important thing this is with respect to the target so it may not be perfectly it should be the surface velocity it should be it might not be 
No, it should be. It should be the surface velocity. So this is the same as if I was in this mode, or slightly not. So there you go. So all I'm doing here is I'm just pushing my retrograde towards the target. I'm just going to keep doing that. See where we're aiming. See how that's suspiciously close. Well, that's what we're going to keep doing. I want a little bit more, a little bit more height though. Because my goal is to land this right on top here. Hopefully I've got the Delta V to get back to orbit. I should do. Alrighty. Now you can see, what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to do the exact same landing sequence now, except with the target as well. So I'm trying to get that target up towards the top of the nap ball. Okay, you can see how it's getting close now. And we come out to the map view, you can see that I'm pretty close to it. Oop. Basically, I just want to keep that retrograde on top of it. Actually, I might be falling a little bit short here. Yeah, that's too short. I need to push it back this way. Okay. Keep moving towards it now. In fact, I overcooked the deorbit a little bit, I think. But I'll keep monkeying around with it because I know where I'm going. I know what I need to do. I can't time warp. That's a bugger. Just keep pushing it back onto that target marker. Now the best plan would be to wait until the target actually gets basically when, when the pink marker is basically straight below you. That would be the best plan. Because as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit with this. I did the nav ball's giving me the direction I need to go and I'm just because of the, the gravity and the rotation of the planet it's actually killing everything that I'm doing it's just washing off all the speed that I'm generating and we're just kind of floating along the surface right now How are we looking? Uh, we are at 900 meters in closing. Almost time to hit the panic button. Now this may be alarmingly close. Now, would I attempt something like this on the moon? Yes, but with a more powerful craft and with greater fuel to spare. Yeah. Oh. So I'm back in that problem again. We overcooked the deal, but. Okay. Nearly there. 
and I've wasted a lot of fuel. As you can see, we're just floating into the ground now. And this is going to be... Well, I can keep refining this. Okay, that's probably close enough. And there we go. We're 50 metres away. Which is quite manageable for a Kerbal. There we go. Done. Now, I just want to show you something very, very quickly. That's where I landed one. That's where I landed another. So these, these are 5.6 metres apart. So using this technique, okay, you can land stuff quite close together. And that wasn't particularly good, but it shows you how to use that nav ball. So enjoy that. Have a practice at it. Next time you're doing a moon landing, see if you can land next to an old probe or something and use the nav ball. Now I'm going to leave the direct descent to rendezvous to the next episode. So I'll see you then.